Hello and welcome back to KDP A to Z. This is a channel where I give you loads of free resources and support for your self-publishing journey. Now, a few weeks ago, I showed you how to use ChatGPT to find you high volume and low competition keywords instead of using paid platforms such as Publisher Rocket. And the results that this can produce are astounding. But some of you have come back to me with a few questions about how to use it better. And as always, I try to answer any questions you have. Now, this one in particular came up. For me, it's not really working the way it did for you. If I apply the prompt to give the same table with different keywords, it forgets what it was doing. And then I have to refresh the page and start over. So we're using my technique, which involved altering some of the wording. It was sometimes forgetting what it was doing and it was giving stupid results. So what I've done is I've made the specific prompt, which will give you the best results instantly. So this way you don't have to fiddle around changing wording. All you have to do is copy and paste into a new chat. As well as this, I'm going to give you loads of other prompts that you are going to find so useful when you're self-publishing. I'm giving this document away completely free. So if that sounds like something that you will use, then please click on the like icon. And if you haven't already done so, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let me show you how this is going to work. So all you need to do once you've got the document, and I'll show you how to get it in a few minutes. But once you've got it, you just need to copy the prompt. So you select it, press control C on your keypad. Go on to a new chat on ChatGPT and select the command bar and control V. And then you just want to put in what you're going to look for. So, for example, let's look for music activity book. So this is going to find you different high search volume, low competition keywords for this topic. And like I showed you in the last video, you're instantly going to get some great keywords for the, whatever topic it is that you're looking for. It'll be in a tabelized format like this with a search volume number and a competition score there. Now, if it doesn't automatically do give you the search volume number and the competition score, just press regenerate because sometimes it comes up with high, medium, low, etc. But you want a numerical value. Now, the competition score, 100 is the most competitive it's going to be going down right down to one with the least competitive so all of these are sort of mid-range competitiveness 60 being higher than 40. now to use this most effectively you do need to have chat gpt with web access i showed you how to get that completely for free in this video here so if you haven't got this yet then check out the video where i show you how to get it also remember that this is showing you results from the web, but as I demonstrated previously, the search results really translate quite well into Amazon search volumes. So if we look at, say, this one, Music Activity Ideas, which has got a good number of searches and a relatively low sort of average competition, let's have a look and see how that translates across in Publisher Rockets. So not too bad on the search results and a very good competition score here. So, so this is really translating well across to Publisher Rocket and the paid programs that you can buy. The theory being that if it's searched for a lot on the World Wide Web, then it's going to be searched for a lot on Amazon as well. But that's not the only prompt that I'm going to give you. I've created a great prompt for supporting with making a bit of a blurb for the back of cover of your books and a title, which will be designed to increase your page rankings. So if you wanted to write a book, say, about a music activity idea, we just copy this prompt into a new chat on GPT. I'm going to call it music activity ideas. And this is going to come up with five really good and engaging book titles for you to choose from and a description for your back cover, which is really going to help sell your book. For those of you that aren't artistically minded like myself, I've made you a prompt which can help you make your book cover design. And this is particularly tuned to making it for free on Canva. So this is going to come up with a layout for you that was going to stand out from the competition, but also fit in well with the genre of your book. Let me just show you how this one works. I'm just going to copy and paste this prompt into ChatGPT. And I want it to come up with a book layout for me for a dot to dot farm animal book. So you can see that it's come up with a really good concept here of a book cover for my dot to dot farm animal book. It's come up with some colour suggestions and these codes here are actual colours on Canva that you can use. So if I was to copy this one, we can go onto Canva. We can just change the colours. If I just copy that particular code into there, so that's that one. 
So using those color codes that it gave me, you can see the sort of color theme that it's looking for. You can see that these would fit in quite well with that kind of genre. It's suggesting the fonts that it thinks we should use. And basically it's telling me exactly how to lay out my page. The fonts that it's suggested here are both available for free on Canva. And so hopefully you'll find that quite a useful prompt to use. And I've put some other really good prompts in this document that I know you're going to love. Now to get this, all you need to do is click onto the Gumroad link that I'm going to give you. I'm leaving it in the description of this video and you just click on it or copy it into your search bar and it will take you to this page. You scroll down a little bit, you put in your price of zero. I don't want any money for this, but if you do download it, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel because it really does help for me to continue giving you this free support. Then you just press I want this. And then you just put in your email address. That does actually get sent to me, but please don't worry. I don't do anything with them and I certainly don't spam anybody. It is just a requirement that Gumroad has. And then you press get and it will give you the document. If you haven't checked out my Gumroad shop before, do have a look at it. Everything's free on there. You're welcome to have as many downloads as you want. I'm sure you'll find them useful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.